Hmm, g'day, Tragic here, and welcome back to Horror on the Orient Express. This is turn three, and we're playing the Kickstarter demo. I think it's still actually live if you want to back it. Now, I'm going to try and be quick today, because I'm just trying to sneak a turn in before I go to work. So let me sip my coffee and get straight into this. We're going to try and go a bit faster today. Less explanation, more just doing. Right, I'm going to try... A little trick. I'm just going to rest straight away, drop these down, and upgrade calm down. Just quickly get this calm available so I can cure insane people. Now, let me just quickly check the rest function. Rest. Resting is an action that each investigator has. When resting, you do three things Spirits, spend experience, restore stamina, move action cubes. Okay, so. It doesn't say that you don't, it just says it's an action. It doesn't say you can't do basic actions at the same time. So it restores five stamina. One, two, one, two, three, four. So even if I use two, two actions now, I'll still be at seven. So what are we gonna do here? She's in the sanctuary. So I think I'm going to, I can turn calm into happy. So I turn calm into happy, and then I'm going to use this to gather. I'll gather another happy. I'll gather another calm. There we are. That'll be her turn. So we've already got two tokens on the board. Get the next one. Okay, it is the ritual. The cultists are doing their thing. So basically, it just means that we resolve the uh, incantation here. For each ritual PowerPoint, there is one ritual PowerPoint, and we also have one insane passenger. For each ritual PowerPoint, add one essence to an active portal. Place on a different portal, starting from the leftmost. Okay. So that's not saying that for each ritual PowerPoint, you put two down. So at first glance, I thought that meant is you add an essence to a portal and then you add another essence to a different portal. But I think that's what it's saying is every time you add a essence, it has to be a different portal. And then we, starting from the leftmost, we send people into insanity based on if they're panicking. So... I'm just going to go one and one, starting from the leftmost. There's two, there's now three on those monsters. And this guy becomes panic. Uh, this way becomes, and this one becomes a uh, insane passenger. So that wasn't very good. We now have one, two, three insane passengers. That is really bad. And then we move that train by one. Next, this guy, remove an essence from a portal on your current landscape and then move a, remove a second one. Yeah, that is current landscape. It's still a current landscape, excellent. So we're gonna go bang. And then we're gonna Good little trick with the tokens. If you make them not sticky, then you can just grab any one from anywhere. So we're going to put that in there and take two, and we're going to take two off this. Just clear that one. And then I'm going to go one, two, and banish this red guy. That's one energy to move and one energy to banish. Okay. Boom. Train moves an extra spot. Now all of them go back in here. And bam. Okay, so we've got one, two. We've only got two tokens so that nothing happens. And then we move an extra spot. Now, this bloke, I do know what, we do have one cultist, where is she? 
Oh, you know what? We're going to, let's throw her off the train. I'm going to throw her off the train. We know that she's a cultist. How do I work out that she's dead? I'll just take uh, this thing. I'll reveal the other things. So we have this one and this one is also revealed. She is now killed. And when we do that, we actually remove one of these tokens. Because we've reduced the power of the ritual. And I'm also going to do this thing here. Draw one token for each happy or sad face. We have one, two, three in there. So that is one, two, three. And it says we can reveal. So we can reveal two second class and one desire. So these are the second classes. Okay, so reveal two second classes and one desire. The end of that. Uh, have I only done one thing? I did, uh, I threw off the train and then I did that. There's so many possessed at the moment. Ugh. I'm going to use the spell book with my last action. Why not? Lose a sanity. Draw three random occult spells. Choose one and cast it immediately as if you were crazed. One, two, three. What have we got here? Turn one from the discard to the bag. Instead, return one from the discard or event board to the bag. We actually have nothing in the, in the discard pile at the moment. Donation of blood wound someone it's a pretty hardcore blood transfusion chosen investigator in your car restores full energy and performs a main action also that person returns two of their cubes to their action track remove all essence from a chosen portal remove half of that essence from the game rounded up instead remove only one of that essence from the game okay so what have we got here Three essence, three essence. Now someone has an ability. Who has the ability? Is it this one here? That's it there. Where is she? She is. Two. Okay. So we're going to, is it? This, so this is for the current landscape. So I'm going to use this skill to put that there. And I'll remove one from the game. And let's draw another token. It is another blank. We now have one, two, three. So this does nothing. This does nothing. This one draws this card. In each carriage with no happy faces, a wounded person dies. We actually have no wounded people. And then all panicking people move. No, 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 no. There's only one panicker. Bam. Oh, wait, what's going on here? Didn't do this one here. Oh, that's right. So none of them have essence on them. So that doesn't trigger. That doesn't trigger. We've done that one. And now blue and red attacks. There's no blue and red. And then green spawns. There's one green. So that spawns here. And then both all of these monsters come out of the limbo. Okay. So I'm trying to go a little bit faster, as you can tell. It's because, you know, it's early days, early days. Okay. Now this girl, she was going to do this. Uh, not this. She was going to do this. I'm going to do this one here. So that is, if there are no monsters, remove all essence from a chosen monster on the current landscape. So we just go one. That's one energy. And then we're going to use that ability. This is the current landscape. So we get rid of all those. I feel like I'm really on top of the landscapes. And I'm going to use this ability here to move a cube up. Now, who do I want to do it on? I'm going to do it on this guy. Let's 
going on here? I used that right at the beginning of the game. Why is that missing? Have I done a rest action? I haven't done a rest action on him. There should be a cube there, right? I've screwed up somewhere. Oh, well, doesn't matter. Uh, immediately take another action. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. So he should have four out, and everyone else has got three, except her, who's already done it, who did a rest this turn. Yeah, so that I don't know why there wasn't a cube there. Anyway, I'm using... He's going to rest next turn, so she's going to use this ability here, sorry, to choose an investigator and move one of their cubes, and I'm going to move this cube up. I'm just going to do that one. Okay. Draw another token. It's a vampire, and you move up one, and this is now revealed. So this time there is one, two, three possessed. One, one. Two, three. Okay, so there's four essence on that. And now it's that's the end of the turn. So that was a nice quick turn. What to do next? I think we're just going to move on. We've got rid of one cultist. I think I'm I'm feeling confident that this guy is not a cultist. One, two, three. So basically every one of them needs to be uh no, so he can't be a four-point cultist. He can't be a Fez cultist. So unless that and that is a Constantinople and a whatever you call it. What was that thing called? The, uh, the goblet. He's not a cultist. So I should start revealing. I should start revealing these desires because there's only one desire on each of them. And that way... So if I find this goblet, that means everybody who's waiting on the level two identification is innocent because there's only two goblets in the game and the one's over here. Okay, so that's the end of that. Like I said, very trying to do a quick turn. Hopefully I didn't make any mistakes. And I'll see you guys next time.